The First Battle of Maryangshan, also known as the Defensive Battle of Malangshan, was fought during the Korean War between United Nations forces, primarily Australian and British, and the Chinese Communist People's Volunteer Army. The fighting occurred during a limited UN offensive by U.S. First Corps, codenamed Operation Commando. This offensive ultimately pushed the Chinese back from the Imjin River to the Jamestown Line and destroyed elements of four Chinese armies following heavy fighting. The much smaller battle at Maryangsan took place over a five-day period, and saw the 3rd Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment dislodge a numerically superior Chinese force from the tactically important Koangsan and Maryangsan features. In conjunction with other units of the 1st Commonwealth Division, using tactics first developed against the Japanese in New Guinea during the Second World War, the Australians gained the advantage of the high ground and assaulted the Chinese positions from unexpected directions. They then repelled repeated Chinese counterattacks aimed at recapturing Maryangsan with both sides suffering heavy casualties before the Australians were finally relieved by a British battalion. However, with the peace talks ongoing, these operations proved to be last actions in the War of Manoeuvre, which had lasted the previous 16 months. It was replaced by a static war characterized by fixed defences reminiscent of the Western Front in 1915-17. A month later, the Chinese subsequently recaptured Mary Ang San from the British during fierce fighting, and it was never regained. Today, the battle is widely regarded as one of the Australian Army's greatest accomplishments during the war. Background Military situation following General of the Army Douglas MacArthur's dismissal as Commander-in-Chief of UN forces in Korea. He was replaced by General Matthew B. Ridgway. Consequently, on 14 April 1951, General James Van Fleet replaced Ridgway as Commander of the U.S. Eighth Army and the United Nations forces in Korea. The Chinese Spring Offensive during April and May 1951 ended in its defeat, while following two months of sporadic operations in mid-June and August. The war entered a new phase, with Van Fleet returning to the offensive. In July the Kansas and Wyoming lines were strengthened, while a limited offensive in the East Central sector in mid-August seized the high ground around the Punch Bowl and Bloody Ridge during the Battle of Bloody Ridge. In September the offensive in this sector continued, targeting the next hill complex north of Bloody Ridge, known as Heartbreak Ridge. Meanwhile, the organization of British Commonwealth ground forces fighting in Korea as part of the United Nations Command had undergone considerable change in the months following the battles of the Imjin River and Kapyong in late April 1951. Three Ra had been transferred from 27th British Infantry Brigade to the 28th British Commonwealth Brigade when that formation departed for Hong Kong. Meanwhile, after protracted negotiations between the governments of Australia, Britain, Canada, India, New Zealand and South Africa, agreement had been reached to establish an integrated formation with the aim of increasing the political significance of their contribution, as well as facilitating the solution of the logistic and operational problems faced by the various Commonwealth contingents. The 1st Commonwealth Division was formed on 28 July 1951, with the division including the 25th Canadian, 28th British Commonwealth and 29th British Infantry Brigades under the command of Major General James Castles, and was part of U.S. 1st Corps. Since its formation, the division had occupied part of the west-central sector of the UN line, approximately 48 kilometers north of the capital Seoul. The 28th Brigade included three infantry battalions, the 1st Battalion, King's Own Scottish Borderers, 1st Battalion, King's Shropshire Light Infantry and the 3rd Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, under the command of Brigadier George Taylor. During this period, 3 hour was commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Francis Hassett. Peace talks at Kaesong during July and September led to a lull in the fighting and 3 Ra undertook mainly defensive duties. 
helping to construct the defenses of the Kansas line south of the Imjin River, as well as conducting extensive patrolling on the northern side. The battalion also used the reduced operational tempo as an opportunity to train reinforcements. The period culminated in a limited, and largely unopposed, divisional advance 12 kilometers north of the Imjin to the Wyoming line, codenamed Operation Minden, in September. Prelude, opposing forces in late September and early October, even while continuing the attack against Heartbreak Ridge, Van Fleet developed a plan for a limited offensive in the western section, known as Operation Commando, to advance 10 kilometers north of the 38th parallel, with the aim of pushing Chinese forces back and giving United Nations forces more leverage at the truce negotiations now occurring at Panmunjom. Jom. Operation Commando was scheduled for 3 to 5 October 1951 and the U.S. First Corps Commander, Lieutenant General John W. O. Daniel, envisioned a concept of operations in which three of the Corps' four divisions would advance on a broad front in conjunction with U.S. 25th Infantry Division on the left flank of the neighboring U.S. 9th Corps. Seizing a new defensive line known as the Jamestown Line, the divisions to be used in the advance included the 1st Commonwealth Division, U.S. 1st Cavalry Division and the 9th South Korean Division. The 1st South Korean Division would remain in its existing position on the left flank, in the sector occupied by 1st Commonwealth Division. Chinese Communist forces were dug into a group of hills overlooking the Imjin River. The division faced 6,000 troops from the Chinese 191st Division. 64th Army under the overall command of Xie Zheng Rong. The Chinese forces were divided into three regiments of about 2,000 men each, with two regiments dug in in well-prepared defensive positions with overhead protection, and a third regiment in support. The 28th Brigade faced one of the two forward regiments, the 571st Regiment, which was deployed with one battalion on Hill 355, a second battalion astride Hill 217 and Hill 317, and a third battalion in reserve to the west. The task allocated to the British Commonwealth Force was to take these positions with the intention of advancing the line from the southern bank of the Imjin to a line of hills to the north, in total an objective that stretched more than 15 kilometres. The primary objectives of the advance would be the capture of Koang San and Mary Ang San and the task of taking these positions was allocated to the 28th British Commonwealth Brigade, with this formation bearing the brunt of the fighting. Castles planned on capturing the Jamestown line in three phases. In the first phase, scheduled for 3 October, the 28th Brigade would take Hill 355 in the East Central Sector. During the second phase, on 4 October, the 25th Brigade would assault the two Hill 187 features and the southwestern ridge running to the Samishon River. Lastly during the third phase, scheduled for 5 October, the 28th Brigade would capture Hills 217 and 317. As such, the bulk of the division's strength would be concentrated on the right flank, to be held by the 28th Brigade. Meanwhile, the 25th Brigade would hold the left flank and the 29th Brigade would be held in reserve while providing a battalion to each of the other brigades as reinforcements. Koang San would be assaulted during the first phase by 1 KOSB with 1 KSLI and 3 RA in support while Mary Ang San would be taken in the third phase of the operation by 3 Ra and the 1st Battalion, a Royal Northumberland Fusiliers, who were under commander from 29th Brigade for the duration of Operation Commando. Careful reconnaissance and planning took place in the week prior to the commencement of the operation and Taylor emphasized the use of indirect fires air support and infiltration tactics to limit casualties, as well as the exploitation of weak points in the Chinese defences. In direct support of the brigade was 16th Field Regiment, Royal New Zealand Artillery with its 3.45-inch 25-pounder field guns. 
In addition to divisional and core assets which included 4.2 INCH mortars, 3-inch howitzers and 155mm heavy artillery, in total more than 120 guns and mortars. Also in support were two British Centurion tank squadrons from the 8th Royal Irish Hussars. Preliminary operations given the primary task of capturing Hill 317, Hassett studied the approaches from the air and the ground. Two previous attempts to take Mary Ang San by American troops had been unsuccessful. Regardless, utilizing tactics first developed against the Japanese in New Guinea during the Second World War of running along the tops of ridges. He intended to gain the advantage of the high ground, while utilizing the cover afforded by the vegetation and the ease of movement along the crest lines, in order to assault the Chinese positions from unexpected directions. Meanwhile, the Chinese defenders on Mary Ang San were also testing a newly developed tactic called the Mobile Positional Defense in which only small units were stationed on the hills in order to exhaust the UN attackers, while the bulk of the Chinese defenders would later counterattack before the UN forces could consolidate into their newly gained positions. However, during the first phase of the operation the Australians would be tasked with capturing a Chinese outpost on Hill 199 to allow tanks and medium machine guns to provide direct fires onto the northern and eastern slopes of Hill 355 in support of an attack by the borderers from the southeast. Likewise, the Shropshires would assault and capture Hill 208. Finally then, two days before the start of Operation Commando, the 28th Brigade crossed the Imchun River to assemble behind the 25th Brigade on 1 October. The following day the three Ralph Lesty Company and the Borderers moved forward carefully into their assembly areas, ready to advance the following morning. C Company advanced to a position 1,500 metres in front of the Canadian positions, northeast of Hill 355. B Company was 200 metres to the rear. In the afternoon C Company was subjected to heavy shelling, losing one soldier wounded. D Company, under the command of Major Basil Hardiman, was detached to 25th Brigade to strengthen its extended front, and it would not be available until the afternoon of 3 October.